Hey babes, so today we're gonna be cooking together again. Normally I don't show in my cooking videos, but today is a very important meal. It's one of my favorite, favorite things. And it's normally considered a treat for me or like for a cheat day because it's normally really bad for you and has a ton, a ton of calories in it. Today's recipe is going to be a poutine. For those of you in the US, I know a lot of you don't know what that is because every time I show it or mention it, everybody's like, what the heck is that? So it's a famous Canadian dish. So a poutine, for those of you who guys don't know, is french fries, cheese curds, and it's topped off with gravy. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook this meal and make it guilt-free so that you can eat it and you don't have to worry about, oh my God, I'm eating some fried french fries. So today I'm here with my new best friend over here, my air fryer. It's from New Air. They sent me their air fryer so I can try it out. I have been wanting to do a poutine recipe, but I'm like, I cannot do fried french fries on my channel. I just cannot do it. So let's get started with the recipe and let's make our poutine. I'm just gonna go through a couple details about the air fryer that I was sent. So this one is by Avalon Bay. We'll link it below so that you guys can check it out if you want to. It comes with this manual that helps you figure out how to use the air fryer. The page that I really wanna show you guys is this guide page that they give you. So they tell you based on what you wanna cook, how long you have to do it for, the temperature you need to have it on and everything else you need to know about it so I love that they have that it also comes with this small pan it's non-stick as well which is so good and it also comes with this little mini grill that you guys can put on the inside if you guys want to do some fried chicken or anything else that you need to have on the top of a grill as for the air fryer this is what it looks like has a handle at the top too so you can carry it nicely so basically you just pull this drawer out and this is where all the air frying happens. I've already used this one before and it turned out really, really good. I made breakfast potatoes with it and it turned out super, super good. So the trick is with this tray on the interior here, you have to just push this up, hold the button down and this will come right out. This is super easy to clean. You can put this right inside of your dishwasher, which I know a lot of you guys are like, yes, it's super easy to use. This is basically where we're gonna put our fries inside of and you can easily, when they're done, take them out and just flip them over onto a tray or something. And then it's super easy to slide right back in, just like that. And it's so super easy to clean. It didn't really make hardly any mess when I did the potatoes. So sometimes I just go in with a nice warm cloth with some soap and water and I clean it all up. Or you also can put it inside the dishwasher, which is also really, really cool. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started. So what I have here is I have a white bowl that has some cold water in it. That's where we're gonna be putting our cut fries when they're done. I also have a couple of yellow potatoes. I like yellow potatoes because I find that they're a tad bit sweeter and they're also softer and easier to cook over white potatoes. I find they're a little bit more harder. And then I just have my cutting board as well and I also have my favorite T-Fell knife. When I looked at the pamphlet, the guide said to cut your french fries 0.3 of an inch, which is just a little bit over a quarter of an inch. So that's exactly how we're gonna be cutting them today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my french fries. We're gonna put them inside of our bath here and then we're gonna let them soak for a couple of minutes to take out the extra starch and then we're gonna go ahead and use our air fryer. Okay, babe, so we're done chopping up our fries and we're just putting it inside of our bath here. We're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna be cutting up some mozzarella. I just got this mozzarella ball. You guys can also look for cheese curds. That's exactly what goes on the poutine originally, but they just didn't have any in my grocery store. So I figured I would just buy the mozzarella and chop it up myself into little curds. You guys can also use mozzarella shredded cheese. I've also done poutine with shredded cheese as well. So I'm just gonna use about that much. I just weighed it. It says it's 41 grams that's on here and it says per 30 grams it's 80 calories and what we're going to do is we're just going to chop it into little cubes so that it can mimic the look of our cheese curds so here are our cheese curds that we just cut up that's what we're gonna be using on top of our poutine. Now I'm going to grab our french fries and we're gonna rinse them off and get them ready for the fryer. Okay, so we've just put them back in our bowl here and now we're gonna get them ready for the air fryer. I'm so excited. So our french fries are ready for our air fryer. I've just plugged it in and I'm gonna turn it on. 
What's cool about the guide that I was telling you guys about, it tells you the temperature and how long it's going to be needing to be inside of here. So it says here for 10.5 ounces of fries to 28 ounces, you need 18 to 25 minutes at 360 degrees. And then in between, you're gonna to need to shake them up a bit. When you guys shake them up, that's just to make sure that every single fry gets really well rounded with the air frying. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the 360, but I'm gonna up the minutes to 25 minutes. And I'm just gonna do 25 because this is the first time me doing fries just like this. So I'm gonna see how it goes. If it needs less, you can always turn it off and just do less. Press start right there. We're gonna open up our drawer here and you'll hear that sizzling noise. And then we're going to shut our drawer. Now I'm gonna be checking on them every couple of minutes. This one's actually very, very quiet. I don't know if this is how normal air fryers are, but when you fry something, for example, you're hearing that like really loud sizzling when you're frying it. So this one is actually really, really low. And at the back, there's just like a tad bit of heat. There's not even a lot of heat coming out from the back. So that's one thing I really, really like about this one. Hey guys, so it's been about six minutes now. I'm just going to take out the drawer and shake just like it said in the manual. That's how they look right now. Looking good. You can shake or you can also take like a wooden spoon right here and just kind of mix them up. Now we're gonna put it back in so that it can continue frying up. Okay guys, so 14 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the drawer again and we're gonna shake it up. So that's what we're left with right now. Look at how good that looks. I'm actually gonna use my little wooden thing here. So they are looking really golden. And again, shaking it up, just make sure that everything gets all evenly fried. And it actually mentioned in the guide that you can put a little bit of oil. It says half a tablespoon in there. So you guys can put a little bit of oil, but I wanna try it with completely no oil at all just because I don't want the added calories, but it's not that big of a deal if you guys just put a little bit. It's, believe me, a lot, a lot better than frying it in a fryer. So we're gonna go ahead and close that up. We're gonna check on it again in a couple of minutes, and then we're going to finish it up. This is the very last step. You want your gravy to be nice and warm, so I'm doing it at the very end. My favorite, favorite gravy that I also showed in one of my past videos is this brown clubhouse gravy. It's so, so easy to use, very low calorie too. You guys can have a quarter of this package for only 20 calories. So I love, love, love this gravy. I've just put in a cup of water at the bottom of my little pot here. And then we're gonna go ahead and immediately put in the powder. And I'm just gonna grab a whisk here and we're immediately going to whisk this up. This is going to avoid any clumps in the gravy and this gravy cooks super, super fast. So right now I have it on medium to low temperature so that it can just slowly kind of cook. My favorite gravy, you guys, has to be beef gravy. I love the dark rich gravy. I don't like anything like light or watery. I love the really, really dark, dark, dark traditional gravy. And this one gives me that, so I love it so much. We're just going to let this come to a little bit of a boil. And again, with this one, you do have to whisk it every couple of minutes just because you don't want the powder to clump up. So we're just gonna wait for that to bubble up a little bit and then we're gonna be done with that. Okay, you guys, so my air fryer only had seven minutes left and something just told me to check up on it and I just wanted to make sure because Again, I've never done french fries with this one, so I didn't know exactly how much timing. And I pulled it out, you guys, and I'm like, yeah, I think they're done. <laughs> look at how good those french fries look. I, I'm sorry, I need to close up. Like, hello, how good do those french fries look with seven minutes left? So my french fries only took me 18 minutes. I'm so happy with how they turned out. What I did was I actually took one out and tasted it because I wanted to make sure it was really indeed done. And the inside was so soft and the outside had like this crispy texture. So to me, I really, really loved it. I'm so impressed you guys, honestly. Thank God this thing works so good. Now we can just go ahead and shut off our air fryer. Super easy. We're just gonna unplug it. I'm just gonna shut this back in just to keep it nice and warm until my gravy is done. This is how our gravy is going, you guys. I have it on very low heat like I said. Okay guys, so now we're gonna put our french fries that are just finished inside of our bowl here. I have my scale underneath so that I can measure how much I'm eating. Can you guys believe that that is only 3.9 ounces of potatoes, which is awesome. Potatoes are actually not really high in calorie. A lot of people get it mixed up and think that if you have potatoes, you're having so many calories, but you're actually not. So I wanna show you guys inside of the pan, it's not really dirty at all because we didn't use any oil. But again, you can just remove this basket and put it straight into the dishwasher, or you can give it a nice wipe down with a nice cloth once it cools down and that's it. 
You guys, so now we're all ready to put our poutine together. I'm so excited. Our gravy is all finished up right here. And we also have our cheese curds. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our cheese over top of the fries. So excited. I feel like I'm showing you guys like something new for those of you who don't know this recipe. I think you guys are gonna love it. So our cheese curds are over top and now we are going to put a pool of gravy because your girl loves gravy. Just kidding. Just gonna pour your gravy over top. Again, you want the gravy to be nice and fresh and hot because that's what's going to melt your cheese down. Okay, I wasn't kidding about the pool of gravy. So that is what a poutine looks like. It's slowly gonna be melting the cheese and it's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait to try this out. Okay guys, so it's time for me to test out my poutine. I hate when people watch me eat. Oh my God, I get so shy. I haven't had a poutine in months, you guys. Just, just give me one second. Girl, I love how the fries turned out, you guys. I'm so happy with my air fryer. Thank you to New Air for sending it to me because I'm so happy with it. If you guys are interested in trying out the fryer, I have included a link down below and also a discount code to save some money. You guys, I can't stop eating my poutine, it's so good. Okay, guys, that's it for my poutine video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Make sure the two ticks at the side of the bell is turned on as well so that you guys get notified for all of my newest videos. Thank you, babes, so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Guilty free fries. It's really good. Benny, you want some poutine? Okay, I have none.